Good morning, everybody. Uh, I am currently in Titanic Quarter, as you just saw, and I am walking down to the Titanic Exhibition Center at the very, very bottom of the road <coughs> um, for a very, very special preview of an exhibition coming up. So this might interest all you Game of Thrones fans um, in particular. Uh, there is a new exhibition that's starting tomorrow. It's open to the public tomorrow. Um, we're getting a little bit of a sneak preview of it today. So this is the exhibition center itself where the exhibition will be, if you're wondering. There's Samson Goliath and that's Titanic Belfast down there and just walk up this road to reach the exhibition center. So I am here today at the preview of the Game of Thrones Tyrion exhibition. Uh, we're just finished with the panel discussion in the background there. We had a few of the actors, uh, Ron Sarg, Davis Seaworth, uh, Maren Trout as well. So, Really, really good panel discussion. I'm gonna put up a video of that separately, um, so definitely check that out. But um, as you can see, we're just getting prepared to go into the actual exhibition itself and looking forward to it. Just going through, giving you a sneak preview of the new Game of Thrones during an exhibition here. Um, just a little bit of info about this. There are some pieces in this that are exclusive to Belfast only, so definitely get down and have a look because it's not seen around the world. I'm sure you all recognise some of these costumes. There's Jamie and Cersei's, there's Joffrey, or whoever is the king at the time, there's Marjorie Tyrell. This is definitely one of my favourite pictures. That is the Hounds, obviously. Detail music. That just here are the crypt of the Starks. So you can see all the, the dire worlds beside each of the mirrors. Um, I thought it was going to be a sign of the name of who it is, but clearly not. But yeah, I think this is maybe one of the exclusive ones to Belfast. This is Varys, Varys' costume. I was actually told in the panel discussion an interesting tidbit about that. I did not know that his hands were covered. Just out of secrecy, because he's obviously the, what, the master of whispers, so it makes him a little bit more secretive that way. Definitely one of the coolest bits of the exhibition coming up. You're in the dark now, but we can see this. It's all the dragon skulls. There's a whole room full, you can't see it over there, but well, you can a wee bit when the flash goes on, but awesome. There's a whole room full. Wee baby one. Not so baby. Here's the Unsullied, and obviously Daenerys' costume. Um, little tidbit as well there. Um, the lead costume designer said that these were her favourite to make because it was such a, like almost like a challenge to get hundreds of people uh, in the, the same costume. And here's the famous dragon eggs. Very, very cool. And the Sons of the Harpies mask. Some intense scenes with those. But yeah, really, really cool set. Definitely come down to see it. Dragon. This might be the creepiest part of the exhibition. These are the masks of the faceless man. I think it's like the temple. Um, these are cool though, these are interactive, so what you can do is put your face on this little thing here and it appears up there. So try it out. There's my big there. Probably this one. I decided to follow suit with other ones and close my eyes. That's pretty cool. About to walk through the wall now. There's some cool photo opportunities here around the whole exhibition. You can get uh, Jon Snow's sword, you can climb up the wall, it's like a mirror, you land crown, it looks like you're climbing up it. And um, so yeah, here we go. It smells so weird. Smell around this exhibit, the white walkers and stuff. These guys, it smells so weird, it's like a really weird musty odour. It's, it's not very pleasant, but it kind of suits what the costumes are. Um, just entered the Great Hall. There's the famous Iron Throne itself. Very, very cool. Unfortunately, you can't sit on it, but it's still cool to look at. And for all the nerds of the show, like me, uh, there's a great gift shop at the end of the tour, too. But, um, yeah, what a wonderful fantastic there. Uh, it's got some exclusive items that are just for Belfast. And definitely get down until September at the Scientific Exhibition Center.